our mutual visions for the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, we both believe that this should be a region that's free, open, and rules-based, that believes in freedom of navigation, freedom of overflight, freedom of commerce, that wants to settle any disputes peacefully in accordance with international law, uh, that abhors predatory economic practices, and that most importantly respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries in the region. Certainly no one wants to have conflict in the region. We want it to be an inclusive vision, but ultimately we're gonna to need to work with trusted and like-minded partners to develop guidelines, red lines, and other ways to fulfill the vision we both share for the Indo-Pacific region. We've begun some of this work through our discussions in the Quad, which include in addition to India and the United States, Japan and Australia. As I mentioned earlier, our Deputy Secretary of State has had phone calls with the Indian Foreign Secretary and uh, senior officials in some of the other countries in the Indo-Pacific region. But we're really just writing the first chapter of what will be a project over the next several years. And the book that we ultimately complete will be critical to the future, not just of this region, but to the world as a whole. So I think taking the in a relationship to the next level really means starting to address collectively regional and global issues in addition to our bilateral agenda.